Hey YouTube, it's Katrina. Welcome to day 170 of the Orbit. Just got back from class, and I got back a little bit earlier than usual, and I learned something in class today that I thought was really interesting, so I thought that I would share it with you. Basically, during part of the class we spoke about stress. Everybody experiences stress, some more than others. There's lots of different kinds of stress. So this was the thing that I learned about, and my professor did say she doesn't know too much of the technical terms, so she's going to talk about it generally, so that's how I'm going to explain it to you, because it made sense to me the way that she explained it, and I figured that if you were interested in what I talk about, you can always go look and learn further than this video. Stress produces cortisol, which is a hormone that your body produces in reaction to stress, and what cortisol does is it puts your body on high alert, and the reason for that is so that it it enables somebody to be able to respond to stress, hopefully in a good way. Now having cortisol in your body is supposed to be a very short-term experience. You can't have cortisone hanging around indefinitely, otherwise, you know, your body is going to just become exhausted. How long can your body stay on high alert, you know? So there's a way to get rid of the cortisol and your body does that naturally as well. There are things that break down this hormone so that the cortisol isn't just chilling out in your body. There are special receptors to make cortisol go away. Cortisol can be damaging to your cells if it stays too long in your body. So there has to be an efficient way for your body to get rid of this stress hormone. Now, the receptors that break down the cortisol are made from instructions that your body provides, and those instructions are genes. So your DNA, your genes, codes for these special little things, you know, for your entire body really, but there's a little piece that has the instructions to make the receptors to break down cortisol. If you have too much stress in your life and that the physical impact that that stress has on your body is that your body will produce more stress hormones to help you supposedly, you know, react to the stress, but if the, this cortisol is around in your body, like I mentioned earlier, it can be damaging, and that's bad because that hormone, that stress, can alter your genes. What I mean is, if your body is so used to stress and being on high alert and producing cortisol, and so doesn't produce so many receptors that break down that stress hormone, then that piece of the gene is going to get altered. It's going to become less functioning. So people who have experienced trauma, abuse, neglect, things like that, very severe circumstances in their life where they experience a lot of stress, their receptors that break down the cortisol don't work as well, which means that they aren't as able to cope with stress as efficiently as perhaps somebody who didn't experience so much stress. It just goes to show you how much stress can affect your body and why it's important to figure out ways to de-stress yourself. And, you know, your genes don't stay the same way throughout your lifetime. They are affected by lots of different things. They go through mutations. They are affected by things that your body goes through as a reaction. Also, connecting to that, if you are somebody who has gone through a lot of stress and your genes get altered because of that and you thus can't cope with stress as well, you can pass along that new mutated gene. So that's why I wanted to end this video with asking you, how do you deal with stress? Do you experience a lot of stress in your life? I personally am experiencing a lot of stress in my life right now, but I'm finding ways to deal with it. And one of those ways is through YouTube, through watching videos and making videos and talking with you guys. I find it a very um, relaxing experience, and I love doing it. And there are lots of things. Reading, you know, going for walks. <laughs> so how do you deal with stress? Tell me about it. And I hope that if you are experiencing stress right now, you know, just take time to step back. And I know it can be hard sometimes, but try to figure out a way that you can distress yourself because I care about you and I hope that you you don't go through life on high alert with your cortisol and your and your genes being altered at every given turn. Okay.
Okay, so I will see you tomorrow on day 171 of the orbit, and I hope that you have a great night. Bye.